Trunks here are good. Anything below this line is a foul. We went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Acuérdense, quiero una pelea limpia. Dios los bendiga. Toque Montes. In the last two decades, five times the fight of the year was Mexican versus Mexican. We have heard the names Barrera and Morales plenty this week. And perhaps like those two Mexican legends, this more than just one night. Maybe this is the first night of what will become two names forever linked. Here we go. Round one. Andre Ward, what are you looking for early? Looking for Valdez to get that jab working. Those feints like you just saw right there. He's the smaller man. Stay small. Don't raise up and try to hit the face or the head of Burchelt early on. Be disciplined. Faint. Use your speed and use your jab. For Burchelt, he's going to do what he always does. He takes a round or two to warm up. He'll prod and paw with that left hand. And then he'll start to let both hands go to the body and to the head. This range finding with that jab for Burchelt at the moment. The guy who typically throws over 81 punches per round in his world title fights. I don't like that Valdez is loading up already with the overhand right and the right to the body. It takes a lot of energy and it's just unnecessary right now. Just touch Burchelt. Don't try to knock him out with one shot. Burchelt right now is just trying to set up shop right now. You see him constantly <laughs> gathering rhythm, his rhythm, and also movement, keeping his distance from Valdez. Even though Burchelt is the favorite, even though Burchelt is the champion, there is deep-seated motivation. We talked about the fact that you go back to their days as the amateurs. It was Oscar Valdez who was given the opportunity. It was Oscar Valdez who was fast-tracked for the Olympic spots. He comes forward with a left-hand follow-up right. Patez, he gave up a lot of energy to get a right-hand block and to miss the other shot when he can get those same points and cause more damage by using the left hand. And he can also remain safe while he does it, just like that. You know what this is called, what, I, what Valdez is doing? He's fighting with emotion right now. You know, you've seen his face, the way he looked when he came in, real serious, you know. He's fighting smart. He really is, but he's fighting with a lot of emotion. He needs to be cautious, like you said, Dre. Well, it's a lot of nervous energy he's giving up. Yes. Almost as if there's a clenched fist before it even comes to the point of the punch. And you see how calm Burchelt is. Well, what did he say in the locker room earlier? About two hours ago, he said, just look at my smile. Yeah. <laughs> look at my smile. That's the kind of night he felt he was having then, and he wants to have now. Relaxed, fun. Now working the jab a little bit here. Half a minute to go in round number one. Big left hook comes in well off the mark from Valdez. That left hook is so dangerous. We've seen the power from Valdez before with it. Double jab, right hand blocked. Hardly the kind of Burchell round we've seen, but he will get that engine revving for sure. Quick break, end of one, more from Vegas in a moment. Dang! Trying to make the company proud, I can see there, Tiafimo Lopez, who beat Lomachenko in a spectacular win here October 17th of last year, right here at the MGM Grand. He'll have a purse bid for his next title defense coming up this week. Two of the real young superstars in the game here to see Burchelt and Valdez in that first round. Valdez, eight connects, 29 thrown. Burchelt, five connects, 31 thrown. Eddie Reynoso was telling Oscar, look, he's big, he's powerful, but he's slow, both with his hands and with his feet. Look, I saw you lunge in with that big right hand. Don't do that. Set it up because he's looking to counter. Dre, you said Valdez has the great asset of speed. He has to use the hand speed and foot speed to his advantage. Well, yeah, Valdez is quicker than he is fast. He can get to the target quick if he doesn't load it up. He gets in trouble when he throws big leaping left hooks and big right hands. But when he throws a jab like that, it's on the mark. Trust me, Burchell feels it and is piling up points. You can see the size difference that Reynoso cited. Two-inch height advantage, but 16 pounds gained from coming off the scale for Miguel Burchelt. Stepped on the scale, perfect 130. Stepped on the scale tonight, 146.2. Seeing a lot of respect from the champion. He's respecting the power and the speed. He's still trying to figure out his range against Oscar Valdez. 
Doing so with the jab, nearly came with the right hand, and then Valdez decides to try to time it and open up with a combination. There you just saw the size difference. Size doesn't always matter just with punches, but it matters when you're inside. So you see Valdez give all his effort to throw, and you see Burchell just nudge him off. That takes a lot of energy out of Valdez. So size is about the physicality, not just the punch. It's a great point. And then there's that punch resistance that becomes so important. Right now, Valdez is fighting a smart fight right now. Using defense, attacking in the right spots, using his jab effectively. Even with the five-inch reach disparity, he's finding a home for his jab occasionally. Like there, beautiful work. And good quick jab as well. Snapping it off. Comes back with it. Valdez can't, with the up jab. Yeah, Tess, I can't say it enough. That's the most important punch for Oscar Valdez. The left hand. And you can jab. see blood coming from the nose of Miguel, Miguel Burchelt. Good work tripling up the jab now, Valdez. Valdez bringing out some blood in the nose of Burchelt. Valdez needs to ignore the blood and keep doing what he's doing. It's not time to attack yet. Just beautiful boxing bomb right now. Look at that. Change in direction right there and a nice one-two combination. He's fighting the perfect fight right now, out at distance. Well-measured start, utilizing the jab, Oscar Valdez. CompuBox has both men landing 15 punches as we start round number three. When it comes to the jab and the accuracy, Valdez at 32%, Burchelt at 22%. Mm. Tried to come over with a right hand, Valdez, to start this third round. See, this has been the key to, and the success for Oscar Valdez. Beautiful jab right there. Even though he's a shorter man and has a shorter reach, he was still able to time his jab like he's doing there against Burchell. Bernardo, what are you hearing? Jose Alfredo Caballero said, look, I know he's landing that jab. What you need to do is counter with the right. Don't lose your mind. Take your time. The fight is still early. Be smart, and you will be able to pour it on late. But his hands are quick. They're acknowledging the quick hands, the quick jab of Valdez, but it obviously can be a countering opportunity with the right hand from Burchelt. Closes the distance now in the corner no, 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 no. We're not before they tie up. All right, nothing back here. Even though that was a foul, I like the fact that Valdez tried to make Burchelt pay for lunging in like that. He's, letting, he's sending a message to Burchell, letting him know that you can't come in here any kind of way. If you miss, I'm going to try to make you pay. Beautiful jab right there from Valdez. Look for the left hook to come around, you know. You're going to see Burchell try to block the jab with his right hand. And the left hook of Valdez should find a home for itself soon. Yeah, I think that's going to land, you know, start landing from mm, Valdez. There, is. there was the left hook from Valdez. It's that jab, though, Tim, that jab. And he can even bring that jab downstairs as well. And look at the movement. I mean, he, Valdez is fighting the perfect fight right now, not standing in front of this big man, using his legs, popping in. He has the quicker hands, using his athleticism right there. Beautiful work by the young man. And getting out of trouble as well. Had his back against the ropes. And you know when Burchell gets somebody in that situation, all the awkward punches and bunches come. And Valdez quickly turns out and exits out the side door to the right. Turns over a left hook, trying not to be smothered, and then ties up. Burchell looks weight drained to me. His punches look a little lethargic. You saw that right, that left hook right there? Dre, do you agree with that assessment early on slow. by Timmy? It just no, looks it's too slow. early to tell. It just looks too early to, to tell for me. Able to get out of the way of that left hook from Valdez. In front. Punches in front. Mm. Fires off a lead left hook that time. Coming to the end of three here in Vegas.
Joe, Tim, and Dre ringside here. Round number four, world title fight, Burchelt Valdez. Tim, there was that moment in the third round where Valdez found a little trouble that he had to get away from. Yeah, we emphasize this on the clicker show. Don't stay on the ropes, Valdez, and he stays on the ropes just for a split second. Drops his guard. He thought a body shot was coming. Dropped his guard. Left an opening for that looping right hand. But to his favor, and to give him credit, he was able to take that shot on the chin. Ooh. Left hook again from Valdez. Let's look at Andre Ward's card. Three zip. Valdez. Valdez, who was the big underdog when the lines opened up here in Vegas. We checked in with our contacts at Caesar. All the late money started coming in on Valdez. 87% of the total handle. Bet down to minus 300. Around town, you could shop it, get it minus 280. And right now, Dre has him up three rounds to zip early on. The left hand is finding a home, Tim, like you predicted. And that's the punch that Burchett, if you watch his fights, that he tends to get hit with. He doesn't defend well against the left hook. That was a punch that knocked him out early in his career when he had his first knockout loss. And Burchelt needs to keep using the jab and try to get that left hook left hook in every chance he can get. Burchelt trying to close the gap, does so with a right hand. Stop! Back up. In front. Punches in front. I love the fact that Valdez is not showing any kind of respect. As soon as he gets close, he starts letting his hands go. And on the separation, Burchell wide swinging. Valdez trying to get away from it. He does back to the center of the ring. You better believe that Burchell's going to have runs that he tries to take within this fight. He's not just going to lay like, oh. Look at that left hook, right hook. from Oscar Valdez, and Burchell is tied up. Let go, let go. There it is. He doesn't look He's good. Hurt. He is hurt. Valdez is on the attack here. A minute to go. Here comes Valdez, a minute to work. He needs to In keep... the pocket, swinging. Yes. Burchelt's meeting him. Burchelt is on unsteady legs. Uppercut sends him back. Here's Valdez on the attack. Do we have a major upset brewing here in Vegas? Look at Valdez headhunting Burchelt. The champ is in trouble. It's the left hook, Joe. That's what he wants. He needs another left hook to hit the spot. Oscar Valdez, he doesn't know how to lose. Burchelt is finding something out as he tries to turn the tables and meet him with fire of his own. Damaged here in round four, he's got 20 seconds to survive it. There's another left hook. Measures up another one. He Lovely legs on Burchelt. Can he survive these last 10 seconds? Headshot after headshot. Valdez scoring with ease. Backs him up and that's a technical knockdown. The ropes held He continue. Come here, give me your gloves. Yeah. Doesn't want this. Está bien. Spectacular round and a shot comes in right at the bell. My oh my, what do we have here, folks? Okay, relájate. I got that. Okay. Lo está lo está dejando crecer mucho, campeón. Yeah, I'm getting confidence. Give me some more water. Okay. It just gave you your best shots. You just can't stand there. You've got to hold on, man. Come on, champ. You better? Give me the towel. And some Vaseline. Take a deep breath. You've got to throw punches. You can't just wait on him. Here's the first left hook that hurt Burchell. Talked about the left hook. That's the punch. That's Valdez's signature punch, and that's the punch that Burchell, throughout the course of his career, he does not defend well against that shot. On top of the head, he had wobbly legs throughout the course of the round, and Valdez did the right thing. He tried to place shots in there and tried to land another left hook, and Burchell is still hurt right now. Tim, how does he look to you in these opening moments of round five? Not good, Tess. Not good at all. His legs are still wobbly. Another left hook comes in. And it's only going to take maybe one or two more shots, and it's going to be over. Listen, he's out on his feet. Valdez needs to set up another shot. Don't rush it. Place the shot just like that. Can you believe this? Oscar Valdez taking it right to Burchell. Left hook to the temple. Started it down the hill. Miguel, you got to show me something, brother. 
You just heard Russell Morris say, champ, you got to show me something. Let me tell you this, when a puncher's hurt, when anybody's hurt, it takes the power off your shots. You don't have the same sting that you did before you got hurt. Look at the control. The well-managed control of Valdez. Went with a right to the body and that left hook upstairs. Valdez needs to shoot a jab and then fake the jab and come around with that left hook. It's right there. He's putting on the performance of his life right now, Oscar Valdez is. As he said he would. Chopping overhand just missed. Burchelt needs to buy some time to get his head together. He doesn't know how, Dre. All he knows how to do is one thing, fight, fight, fight. Ooh. Big right hand from Valdez. Burchelt stands up to it and looks to exchange. Maybe he's thinking there's one lottery ticket left in those gloves. He comes forward now. Stop, let go. Burchelt right now is fighting on instinct and guts. That's all he's fighting on right now because he's hurt. All week long, we told you the CompuBox superlatives of all the offensive firepower, but we also mentioned among elite fighters, eighth worst defense in the sport. He gets hit. Not only that, he gets hit with power shots. And that's what has turned this fight into this golden opportunity for Valdez. The money shot is the uppercut for Valdez. It's a shot that Burchell won't see coming. If he shoots the uppercut as he's coming in, this will be over. Half minutes ago in round five, Burchelt a little better on his feet, a little more willing to engage, but he has been damaged. Fighting on instinct means to punch, to get into the pocket, and he does as he fires off the uppercut. What drama we have here in the bubble. Let's listen in. Yeah, I don't know what's keeping Burchelt up. It's all heart and all guts. But you see Valdez doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's trying to pour it on. And he's just trying to get that right shot to land there. And that was a good shot. It wasn't a great shot, but the ropes held Burchelt up. So in the state of Nevada, that is a knockdown. It looked like a push to me. I didn't see a, I didn't see a clean shot land right there. Well, he was beaten and battered at that point. He was barely standing. That was long after the original left hook went to the temple. That hurt him badly. As Round as, number six, title on the line. Tess, as long as Burchelt's around, he's still dangerous. Always. There's no doubt about that. He's always dangerous until this fight is over. 34 knockouts in 38 wins. He is as Wipe dangerous as anybody corner. is in the sport. And he looks a little better here at the start of round six. If you're Valdez, you want to go back to what set up that good shot. Stop trying to just land it and set it back up. That's how you got the success you got early on. So go back to that, and maybe you can land it again. But well, the biggest problem is, is that he didn't go to the body. He should have went to the body. Those hands would be down even more, and he would have took a lot more out of Burchell. He just got happy and comfortable head hunting. But this makes it a lot easier if you're the smaller guy and the boxer facing the puncher when the puncher knows that you can hurt him. Ooh, ooh, that body shot hurt. Valdez right there. Burchelt goes to the body and finds success. Listen, Burchelt is thinking right now, I took his best shot. Now he's coming on, he's feeling strong. He's able to absorb and take the punches a lot more, I would say, easier coming from Valdez. Stop. Let go. I just can't stop thinking about everything that was said this week. Look at this. How he talked about Julio Cesar Chavez picking Burchelt. How he talked about it's the first time on an underdog. And then yesterday, the president of Mexico FaceTiming Burchelt and lending support. They trade right there. Burchelt absorbed that far better than he did two rounds ago. But that punch hit Burchelt right square on, on the, the chin. chin. The one that hurts him is the, the punch that hits him on top of the head. That's the one he does not de defend well against. That left hook Let temple go, shot, side of the head. Suertalo. Happened early in round four. Awkwardness of Burchell. Suertalo. Suertalo. Coming straight in against Valdez. Stop. So for a true champion, when you get hurt, you get angry. Once you recover, you realize what happened to you, you get angry, and Burchell is angry right now. Not tying up, throwing on the inside that time was Valdez. Burchelt felt that right hand right there. And pops that jab. Burchelt trying to close that range again. Cut off the ring. Oh. 
behind the head right there. Rabbit punch from Valdez. Time. Rabbit punch. No more punches back here. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Let's go. So the warning from Russell Mora. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful body shot right there from Oscar Valdez. That's where he needs to continue to go to take to drain Burchell. Comes Burchell. He started with the body attack. Now he's trying to go upstairs in the final moments here of round six. Nice tie up right there from Oscar Valdez. That's what he needs to do. He needs to tie him up and don't allow him to come on. Beautiful left hook right here to the body. Double up here. Bring the hands high to cover. What do you do? Come underneath. Valdez Thank did not much. expect that shot. Great setup right there from Burchell. But here's classic Valdez what where he rolls out, Six. puts all the weight on his left foot, and he leaps up with that left hook. That landed Round flush Six. on the face of Burchell. That buzzed him. Here we see another angle. Roll out. He knows Burchell's right hand Round is down. Six. And boom. Round Hit him right Six. there on the temple. Burchell took that left hook better than he did the ones previously. And Burchelt had his most productive round of the fight. He was 15 of 62. He landed 12 power punches, throwing 41s, fight highs for him. Oscar Valdez is enjoying an 83 to 61 connect advantage. The highlight, of course, round four, when he had 18 power punches landed of 64 thrown and scored the technical knockdown. Hurt him badly early on with a left hook. Valdez's technique is suffering just a little bit right now. Part of his fatigue and part of it's because Burchelt is picking up the pace. Valdez has to go back to what worked early in this fight. Jabs, pot shots, and hopefully he can land another big shot. Look at Burchelt just trying to run him down, trying to get anything going. And this guy is the Terminator, Burchelt. Burchelt trying to get coming. some get back. He said, you want to do that to me? I'm, it's time for me to get mine now. Stop, let go. He's willing to make a fight of it. Five rounds to one on Andre's card, including that fourth round, that 10-8 fourth round when Burchell was hurt badly and the knockdown was scored by Valdez. Mm. If Valdez doesn't get Burchell out of there, it's gonna be very interesting going down the stretch because Valdez, even though he had great success halfway in the first half of the fight, he gave up a lot of energy with the movement, the mental Stop. pressure, as well as all the punches that he threw. No and doubt about that. Let's see if it turns in that direction. Burchelt stalking. Goes to the body underneath with a right hand. Tries to chop down and windmill a right. Head movement from Valdez gets him out of trouble and he spins out. The right hand is available for Burchelt. Valdez is throwing the same single jab, the same speed. The right hand is available for him. All he has to do is shoot it anytime he sees a jab, right over the top of it. Follows Valdez back into the corner. Much different tone here in round number seven. This is when the corner earns their money. They got a coach, their fighter. I'm talking about Eddie Reynoso. Oscar Valdez, through this moment, he has to let him know this is what's happening and this is what you have to do to keep your composure. Right hand comes in from Burchell. He's finding a little something here in round seven. Can see redness on the face of Valdez. He opens up with a left hook, goes right back to it, right back to it again, chopping with a right hand. Here's Valdez now making a comeback. And what does Burchell do to answer? He throws punches. What is this guy? The only thing they know. Oh, good stuff. Of a round. Agarra aire, relájate. Take a deep breath and relax. Take a deep breath. You've got great conditioning. Come on, man. I know you're doing well. You don't need to be stepping back. You need to be making a miss and step out. You had a really bad start to the round, but you finished really well. I don't want you to lose your focus. No quiero que pierdas el enfoque, por favor. Don't Vamos lose your bien. focus, please. You're doing no well. Enfoque, no, no te lo quieras comer de un solo golpe ni estés ahí te quedas. Vamos, respira, respira. Take a deep breath. Come on. Déjala, déjala respirar. Just let him breathe. Otra vez. Respira, sigue respirando. 
continue Mira, breathing. Cuando tú te quedes así, valiente, no. Cuando tú estás when you ahí, stand ya, there, no, you're no, done for. But when you throw punches, he can't handle it. Vamos al round número ocho. We're going to round eight. Here's the right hand of Burchell. That's the money punch right there for Burchell. Oscar Valdez trying to find space, got caught up in the corner. We said stay off the ropes. Anytime he gets near the corner, what he needs to do is he needs to step in and tie up Burchell and walk him back to the center of the ring because that's where he's going to have success. Consider how badly he was damaged in round four, the way he looked in round five, and now stacks a couple good rounds together, round six and seven. In that seventh round, Miguel Burchell had a 19 to 13 connect advantage. He was 14 to 44 on power punches. Valdez did make a nice comeback at the end of that round, but early on, Burchell was consistent, was doing his thing. Now you see Valdez going back to what gave him the early success, which is the jab and the lead hand. It keeps the hard charging Burchell at bay. It blinds him if you want to throw a right hand and a left hook behind it, because Burchell has taken your best shot so he can compute a big lead right hand or left hand but when you blind it or blind him with the left hand the jab now he can't see it just like that telling you the uppercut is the money punch from Valdez it's a shot that Burchell will not see coming and the ones that you don't see coming are the ones that hurt the most A necessary jab turns it over into a hook. It's beautiful boxing right now for Valdez. Just beautiful boxing. Good combination from Valdez. Look at that. Turning outside the corner. Woo. Beautiful work by the young man. Nice hop and a step, and then a lead left hook again. Burchelt trying to work behind that jab. Listen, I don't know why Valdez is switching as, as much as he now. is, and I haven't seen him ever switch as much as he is, but it's effective and it's working right now. Stop. Let go. Valdez is using that turn and burn, baby. Turn and burn. Keep turning him. Make him pick up his feet. That's what you do against a puncher. A guy that needs to stand in position to be able to land this offense. Much better movement here in ring generalship in round eight from Valdez. No, 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 Give me gloves. Those shots are straying kind of low. Don't hold, don't hold. For Bichel. Upward coming body shots with the right hand. Eight rounds in the books here in Vegas between these Mexican warriors. Rounds that we're gonna fight for glory. Thank you. Take a deep breath, come on. Give me the towel. Let him read. Look at this big overhand right that Valdez sets up off the jab as Burchell pulls back, trying to use his jab, trying to create okay. some range. Right on the money, Thank right you. on the temple, right there, and you see that Burchell took it well. Well, this is what I mean when I say the left hand can blind and freeze your opponent. That's exactly what it did right there. And that's why Valdez was able to land that shot clean and not get here. punched in return. Okay. You're getting close with them hooks. Okay. Yeah, they have to be in front of the ear. Okay. Round number nine in that eighth round, Valdez had a 16 to 12 connect advantage. When Valdez goes away from the left hand, the jab, he doesn't land the left hooks as cleanly as he is right now. When he's setting everything up with the jab, he's able to turn southpaw and land some lead shots, and he's also able to land that signature left hook and overhand right. He's got to stay disciplined. Such a highly competitive fight. I think many would probably find it 
fairly easy to score. You've got the highlighted knockdown round in the fourth. 78-73, the bounce back rounds by Burchelt were obvious six and seven, and then a good eighth round for Valdez. He got off to a very good start of utilizing the jab. Then he had the power surge when Burchelt was hurt in rounds four and five. Burchelt settled in, had his way in the sixth and seventh before Valdez comes back with good movement, good jab, and that overhand right in the eighth. Six rounds to two with a 10-8 round. That was a nice sequence right there. Valdez was on the ropes. He flicked out a left hand, landed a right hand for good measure, and got out of harm's way. There's the left hook again. He heard him with that. He buzzed him. You can see the legs. Oh. Burchell does not have the same power on his shots. When you get hit with big shots like that, like Dre said, it takes power away from your opponent when you're hitting them with big shots. Biggest weapon Valdez possesses, and he is utilizing it well tonight. The left hook, switching stances, though, and comes back with a right jab, a southpaw jab. And here he is now as a southpaw. Now you see the body language from Valdez. Uppercut combination, and he scores the knockdown. Valdez does it again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come here. He's hurt. That's that the end? Get it, smash, Valdez. Get back. Can he finish him? Can Oscar Valdez take the throne from Burchelt? Coming in with right hands. Showing the patience of a veteran, of a champion, fighting smart, sweeping headshots. Tim, you said he must go to the body in situations like this. Go to the body. That, that'll Stop, take a lot more out of your opponent if you go down to that body when they're hurt. And they'll bring their hands down. Right hand comes in. Burchelt survived the fourth round. Can he get out of this ninth round? Got to be careful, that left hand again, sweeping right hand from Valdez. Oscar Valdez in control here as we come to the end of round nine for the second time he puts down Miguel Burchell. No, 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 Valeu, Erga, que no tiras. Hey, come on, man. Do you want me to stop it? No. Listen, I can't let him take an excessive punishment. He doesn't show me something I was not to fight. You understand? See Oscar Valdez turning South Park feeling good. And you know a fighter's feeling good when they start throwing combinations you haven't seen all night. That was creative. That was thoughtful. He said, let me bring it up. I think he might have heard Timothy Bradley ask for the uppercut, and it landed, and it landed cleanly, and you saw the results okay. that it produced right okay. there with okay. Burchelt. Burchelt is in a bad way right now. He's not recovering in between rounds. Valdez has an opportunity to step this thing up and potentially get this knockout. I'm going to tell you right now that Burchelt is behind big in this fight. And if I was in this corner right now, I would stop this fight. He's taking too many power shots to the head. If you look at his legs, he's bouncing, but they're not steady. That means that his equilibrium is not right. His balance is not right. And he's a shot or two away from getting knocked out. he doesn't start throwing punches, I'm going to have to stop the fight. So that is in the mind of Jose Alfredo Caballero in Burchelt's corner. There's another big shot from Valdez. Valdez can sense it. Joe Moore's got to take a close look at this. I understand this is for Mexico and their Warriors, but he's got to take a close look at Miguel Burchelt. If Miguel Burchelt won't stop, he may have to stop it for him. Taking too many punches, too many power shots. Look at his face, look at the swelling. And he's eating these left hooks. And now oh, snapping jab and a right hand comes in from Valdez. Stop, let go. He's gotta watch him. Perfect game plan put forth from Oscar Valdez on the night when he needed to be perfect. Switching stances. See that switch right there? That's just creating a different angle. 
Switches back to Orthodox. For his offense. He has smart. shown everything tonight. Everything. Absolutely everything. Masterful performance tonight by Sabalvadez. Motivated by doubters, including his boyhood idol, Julio Cesar Chavez, on a night when Burchelt said, I take a step closer to reaching that goal of Chavez's nine successful title defenses at 130 pounds with the green belt. And now, if he doesn't have a massive turnaround, that green belt is going the other way. That's a slip in the corner where there is moisture from the water and ice. Wipe this corner. And Russell Mora instructs them to wipe it down. Valdez is in a zone right now. He is in an absolute zone right now. Trey, it's almost as if you could see it in his eyes, wide open, hyper-focused all night long. He's heard the talk from his countrymen and from, from those, you know, in the boxing community. And that motivated him. Yep. It's not always the bigger man that wins. It's not always the hardest puncher. Brains, Smarted. toughness, and skill can get it done. Stop. Well, brains is toughness. You got to stay disciplined when you use your brains. That is toughness, Dre. Oscar Valdez is the new champion. Is where Miguel Burchelt will be headed to. And that is very close by. And what a beautiful scene here of the two countrymen, the two men who live in Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico. To think one man has the greatest moment of his professional career, a celebration that will last deep into the night, while another man, his family, and friends have to watch that. There is nothing like the drama that this sport produces at this level. It was 10 absolutely brutal, fascinating rounds. It was a sublime performance by Oscar Valdez. At 29 years old, he is 29 and 0, now 23 knockouts, and just took the WBC Junior Lightweight Championship away from the great Miguel Burchell this way, Tim Bradley. Take us through it. Valdez, Valdez has been fighting the perfect fight all night. Knowing when to box, when to move, but this right here is saving grace. Left hook with the movement allowed Burchelt to come forward. Just beautiful work right here, man, by Valdez. Finding the home for it, saving grace, that left hook. I knew as soon as he hit someone, as soon as he hit Burchelt clearly, I knew it was going to be over. Watch the legs on impact. Getting out of range. Beautiful setup, boom, right on the chin. Every part of him crumbled Unreal. to the ring. But right now, he is on the stool. They're unwrapping the gloves. They will get him to the UMC Trauma Center. The left boom. hook all night long. Oscar Valdez, a young man who was born in Mexico and then went to Tucson, Arizona when he was just a year old, went to elementary school in Arizona through fifth grade, and then parents divorced. He went back to Mexico with his father. His career has taken him to the greatest heights, a two-time Olympian, a world champion at featherweight. You see Tiafimo Lopez celebrating the win. Here it is in real speed. Listen to this. It was before the bell for those who were questioning it. And the celebration, biggest win of his career, vacated his featherweight championship to move north to 130 pounds, Dre. What a performance oh by Valdez. God, real. You know, you never underestimate a champion. This guy never lost his belt in the ring. He has 
and had everything it took to get in here and do what he did tonight. So I'm not surprised. He's a champion level fighter mentally and, and, and obviously physically and with his heart. Out of respect for what happened in the medical situation with Burchelt, we had to give pause, but now we can make it official. Here's Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the MGM Grand, this bout comes to an incredible conclusion. Two minutes, 59 seconds of round number 10 for your winner by knockout and new WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Oscar! Still undefeated, his greatest night, Oscar Valdez. We will hear from the new champ when we come back.